So Gina here, welcome back to Crash Bank Computing. In today's video I am going to give you an idea to make your questioning in your lessons a little bit more interesting. I first saw this idea when I observed a history lesson, so thank you Melissa. And the idea is that in the questioning you use a physical object, so in this history lesson they used an inflatable globe to throw around the classroom or pass around the classroom in order to select pupils to answer the question. So instead of an inflatable globe, I have a cushion emoji. There are different ways you can use this emoji in your questioning. One way is something that I call pass the emoji and this is based on the kids party game pass the parcel. So exactly the same idea, you get the pupils to sit around in a circle or a shape of your liking and you get them to pass around this emoji to um, music and then you either have a pupil or yourself pause and play the music randomly and whoever's holding the emoji when the music is paused they must answer a question. You can also do this if you don't want to use music you can get a pupil to stand in the corner with their face turned and they will just shout stop randomly. Another way to use this emoji is based on a game called 15 to 1 which is a TV game show. That one is a little bit more brutal, um, especially 15 to 1 because they have to nominate a pupil that um, they think won't know the answer to a question. So you can still keep that if you really wanted to. I would suggest if you was to keep it, you would use it with pupils who maybe have a higher self-confidence and don't mind getting questions wrong. However, you can flip it um, 360 and instead of pupils nominating a pupil who they think might not get the question correct, they have to nominate a pupil who will get the question correct. So that adds a nice or a better spin in my opinion. The final idea that you can use with emoji is that you can split your glass into two groups or two teams or as many teams as you want and you can have them playing against each other and they have to throw Again, the idea is whoever's holding the emoji will have to answer the question, so that basic rule will kind of always apply, but it's just changing up a little bit so that the game is a bit different. So every question that the team gets right, then they will get a point. Every question that they get wrong, the opposite team gets a point. And then by the end of your um, activity, the team with the most points gets rewarded um, with merits or whatever system your school uses. Um, you can also put an added spin to that and actually have the class play against the teacher. So beat the teacher, pupil versus teacher, which is always fun as they get really, really competitive to try and beat you, which is really, really funny to see. Okay, so that's me for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you found it useful. Let me know if you have used this idea before, if you are going to use this idea, what you're excited about using it, what you're not so excited about using it, especially the element of throwing it around the classroom. Um, let me know how it goes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.